Stamper is Sandy McIver here, Stampin' and Bloggin' and Stampin' with Sandy, and I have got a fun little technique for you. Watercolor smooshing. So I'm going to teach you how to do this really cool background, and it's really quick and easy. Okay, so real quick, the supplies you're going to need. I'm starting with a piece of watercolor paper. It's 90 pound Canson, and it's four and a half by six. We're going to be cutting it down afterwards, but that's where I'm going to start. I'm using my post-it note tape, and I've got it taped down to a thick, hard piece of cardstock. Er, cardboard. That will hold it flat for me when I get it wet. The card base is Whisper White, four and a quarter by eleven. You're going to score and fold that at five and a half. And the mat is a piece of basic black, three and seven eighths by five and one eighth. And the stamp set that we're using is World of Dreams. Ink for today's project, Bermuda Bay, Island Indigo, Cucumber Crush, and Memento Black. Okay, so you're also going to need a piece of window sheet, about five by five. I'm also using my silicone craft sheet. And I have a spritzer for water, and you're going to need some paper towel voila and you know what I keep using the same one over again I just let the ink dry and then uh, go around for the next go around okay so the technique requires you to smoosh the ink into the watercolor paper so here's how you do it first we're going to start with the green and I'm just taking the ink pad and getting it all over my silicone craft sheet and then I'm going to use my spritzer and I'm going to add a little bit of water okay so how do we transfer we're going to use our window sheet and I fold it in half and hold it in between my fingers and I pick the ink up like this and then what I was doing was this and then you smoosh it around underneath the plastic which is kind of really cool don't you think so you can make lines with it as I've done in a few cases or you can lay it right down and you can rub it around so it spreads it out very cool right and you want to add a little bit kind of all over the place and give it a good smoosh and then you're going to take your paper towel and you're going to take your window sheet and you're going to wipe it clean on the paper towel because that's how we're going to clean it to change colors and pick up all the ink off of the silicone pad also with your paper towel. Okay so that's all clean I'm going to move on to Bermuda Bay so basically what I'm going is light to dark okay so again I'm adding some ink and then I'm adding some water and I've got my little piece of window sheet and again I am transferring and smooshing and you just kind of add as much or as little as you would like I kind of like the blues but I really like them mixed with greens and the nice part about these three colors is when they blend together they don't make a nasty gray or anything like that so that was one of the reasons why I picked the colors you have to be careful when you're looking at the color wheel to see what blends and what doesn't Alright, so you can put, like I said, as little or as much as you want. You try and end up with not a straight line across the top. Okay, that kind of takes away from the artfulness of the piece, so to speak. Alright, I'm going to add a little bit more down here, and then I'm going to clean off both of these things and change over to Island Indigo. Okay, I have my Island Indigo ready to go, so again, picking it up, and I am looking. We're going to be cutting down the watercolor piece so you don't need to go all the way to the edges and you really don't need to go all the way to the bottom if you don't want to okay and sometimes it's fun to turn the um, window sheet the other way because then you're going to fill in a larger area but I really don't want it to bleed all over over top of my green and change everything to blue either so I'm kinda of picking where I'm landing here and I also like a little bit of white showing so I think I'm going to stop there and so then the other thing that you want to do is just take the end of your paper towel and any big kind of puddles of ink or blotches you just want to wick them up with your paper towel so there we go so the next step we're going to do is just use your heat tool and dry this off and then we're going to cut it down to three and three quarters by five okay so I've got mine dried and I've got it cut down and so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add my stamping and what I did was I used my stamp a jig that way I could mess around with where I was going to be uh, putting it. So I already have my image on there, but let me just show you what you do. You place the acrylic into the corner, so you want this nice and tight, okay? You ink up your stamp, put it into the corner of the handle, see right here, and then go straight down, straight back up, and that gives you your image. So now what you can do is you can take it over here and you can kind of audition where you would like this image to be on your art piece, okay? and so I kinda wanted mine right about there so then I'm going to wrap the handle back around the acrylic remove the acrylic out of the way and then ink up my stamp really really well solid images sometimes don't ink very well 
but let's give it a go. I just re-inked that stamp pad, so here's hoping. Also, your watercolor paper is a little bit lumpy, so you want to hold it on there for a couple seconds and just really let that ink soak in. And there we go. Okay, so it's not solid, and so I can fix that with a marker, and I will in just a minute, um, but I want to add my sentiment and so what I did with my sentiment is exactly the same thing and because I'm using memento ink it smeared a little bit if you use stays on it will actually uh, stay on <laughs> imagine that huh I'm just waiting for this black to dry for a little bit and then I'm going to stamp my sentiment right up here all right There we go. Okay, so let me show you the trick for fixing this. Okay, I zoomed in for you and so that you could see that it didn't stamp really solid and I didn't get quite to the edge and I did both of those things on purpose. And Stampin' Up! has got matching markers to go with all of their ink pads. So you can get out your black marker and you can go to the fine tips section and then what you can do is you can just add some additional lines back in there and then get in there and fill that little guy in, okay? And so for the sake of this video, I'm not going to finish that now. I'll do it later. Let's move on and put the card together. Okay, so because we used watercolor paper and because we got it wet, we made it a little bit lumpy. So I'm going with Fast Fuse as my adhesive to attach these together because it's stronger than snail. All right, so you, you apply it the same way. You make sure you're straight up and down and that the roller goes flat across your paper. Don't press too hard. It just needs a light touch and do the little flick at the end to release the tape. And then I'm attaching it to my piece of basic black. And then I'm going to apply the adhesive to the back of that and attach it to my card front. There we go. All right, so I hope you enjoyed my little watercolor smooshing technique. There they are up close and personal for you. And um, this happens to be the technique for this month over at Stamping and Blogging. So we just loaded a new online class over there. So there's four more videos with four different ways to use this technique on four different cards. And you get access to this class as well as the other 39 stamping technique classes that we have there. And uh, there's also a complete set of blogging lessons too. So if you are thinking about getting a blog and you want to get online, uh, this is the perfect place to get it. And if you want a free class and you live in Canada, there's two ways that you can get this class from me. It's place a $50 order and I will send you the class for free as a thank you. Or if you join my team, I am giving my Canadian stamping team free access to stamping and blogging. So give me an email and come and join my team. Thanks so much for stopping in. Bye now. Happy stamping. Mm -hmm.